That was Context Viola Ensemble in that little example there. You'd find that this key switched version in VSL Strings E key switch folder. The way Contact handles different articulations and key switching has changed a bit in Contact 4. Before there were a bunch of different instruments that handled all the different articulations and a few instruments that had key switched versions. In Contact 4 you only get one instrument and within that instrument you can pick any of the various articulations. So you can do that statically if you only want to play tremolo for instance you can just pick tremolo and then use the instrument as a tremolo instrument and if you want to save some memory you can unload all the other variants you can see the memories going down there as I click all of those to unload them for key switching GTEC maps each of these articulations onto the sixth string so that would be fret 1, fret 2, fret 3, fret 4, fret 5, fret 6 for each of the articulations and that's what I was using when I played the example earlier and that's done using the transpose setting on the sixth string there so you can't play notes on the sixth string but if you do want to play notes on the strict sixth string there are other versions of the instruments which are identical except that they don't have this transpose setting made so they just play normally on all six strings. Now I've only looked at one of the instruments in this example, but there are a whole bunch more woodwinds there, and the brass instruments there, and also there are key switched instruments in the choir section. There's a separate video on that. The choir video also explains the new dynamic key switching function, which also appears in these instruments. So you might want to watch that one as well.